G'day guys, Bad Faith here, how's it going? This video I got 5 games to look forward to in 2012. Now for me, the standout trailer of E3 2011 was Far Cry 3. Even if you ignore the amazing setting and the amazing look of the gameplay, it still would have stuck in my mind for one reason. Vaughn. Let me different. I'm sorry. I don't like the way you are looking at me. Okay? You have a fucking problem in your head. Do you think I'm bullshitting you? Do you think I'm lying? Fuck you! Okay? Fuck you! It's okay, man. <laughs> I'm gonna chill here, man. Now, this lunatic Vaughn is portrayed as one of the most downright scary characters in a video game I've ever seen, and strangely one of the more interesting ones too. If you haven't seen this trailer, it's definitely worth checking out, as well as the cinematic trailer released since. Which too is awesome, except for the unfortunate choice of dubstep as the music. With Far Cry 1 and 2 both being pretty solid open world first person shooters in their own right, and worth a playthrough if you haven't already, Far Cry 3 should definitely be one game to watch out for this year. Next up is Game of Thrones, the RPG, which is set for a May 14th release. Now, it's generally no secret that video games based on movies suck. So, then what could you expect from a video game based on a TV show? Now, in my opinion, Game of Thrones is probably the best TV show ever made, hands down. But this coming game, based on the series, is probably not going to be shaking up the RPG genre, given that the last game based on the Game of Thrones TV show was nothing to phone home over. But I'm hopeful that Cyanide Studios can at least make a solid RPG that can give fans of the books and the TV show another level of immersion into the universe, and I'll be looking forward to it nonetheless. I had hoped that you might have escaped Hong Kong. Escaped its influences. Its problems. It seems that the evidence against you has failed to appear. You must be a very dangerous man, Wei Shen. That is exactly what we want people to think. What the fuck? They finally deport your ass from the United States? It was mutual. Time I came home anyway. Next up is Sleeping Dogs, set for a September release. Now in addition to the story trailer you just saw part of, Sleeping Dogs has an amazing and brutal live action trailer which looks so damn good they should just make it into a movie. Now at first, the Sleeping Dogs was being developed by Activision under the name of True Crime Hong Kong. Luckily, Square Enix picked it up after it was dropped by Activision, and thank God because Activision are money-grubbing whores. But anyway, Sleeping Dogs is set in Hong Kong where you play the character Wei Shan, a former bad guy turned undercover cop trying to take down the triads from the inside out. It's got a gritty adult plot, it's got martial arts, gunfights, and a beautiful setting. While this game probably won't exceed the GTA franchise's next installment, it is definitely worth looking into, and definitely something to look forward to in 2012. The next game on the list is The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings, which already received its PC debut last year, but this year sees the release on the Xbox 360, but unfortunately not on the PS3. I'm not entirely sure why it's being released on one next-gen console, but not the other. I guess the devs just made a deal with Microsoft and not with Sony, I'm not entirely sure. But anyway, The Witcher 2, in my opinion, was the most impressive RPG of last year. It had an intriguing and mature plot, well-written characters, a difficult but rewarding combat system, and an amazing art style. It was by far my favourite game of last year. And with the Xbox 360 release of the game, all new content is coming out too, revealing more of the amazing story behind the game. And luckily for us PC gamers, the devs haven't forgotten about us. All the new content coming out with the Xbox 360 version is being patched into the PC game completely free. And this, in my opinion, has made CD Projekt Red one of the best game developers around today. Uh, it's good to see a development team not selling out to the DLC market, and just giving their fans a gift, purely because they're fans. I just think it's really good to see. Just when you thought it was safe to shit in the dark, Frictional Games announces their next title, Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs, which is rumoured to be released Halloween, which I think is the 31st of October 2012. 
A Machine for Pigs will be the follow-up to the bedwetting horror title Amnesia The Dark Descent, and while carrying the name Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs will include all new characters in an all new setting. Now very little information so far has been released about the next Amnesia game, besides a few minor details about the setting and the main character. For this latest release, Frictional Games will be collaborating with the Chinese Room, who are the devs behind Dear Esther, and hopefully they can bring enhanced storytelling to the Amnesia series, which is something that was lacking in the first game. All in all, any horror enthusiast worth their salt should be looking forward to this next Amnesia title. Well that's it guys, hope you're as excited about these games as I am, I'm Living in Bad Faith, I'll see you next time.